hello everyone welcome to today's video today we are going to see how we can create a responsive navbar in html and css and we won't be using any javascript in it so let let us begin firstly i will be creating a index.html file next thing is that i will be creating a style.css file in the index.html i will be loading the boilerplate i will be giving it a class name i will be giving it a title of navbar uh, next thing is I'll have to link the CSS file and I have to provide the CDN for bootstrap icon. So we'll be using a bootstrap icon for our hamburger menu. So first of all, I'll be copying the CDN, placing it above our style.css file. And next thing is I'll scroll up and search for hamburger menu so here it is this menu uh, this hamburger icon uh, we will be using this hamburger icon later in the video so i've just op opened the page and kept it like that now let us go into the body tag and we will be creating a nav element inside the nav element i'll have an h2 with company name in it we'll be creating an unordered list with the class name of nav dash list and we'll be creating an li with the class name of nav dash item inside the nav item i'll be creating an anchor tag and in this i'll be placing home now I'll copy it and paste it three more times. Here it will be services. Here it will be about. And here it will be contact. So this is done. Uh, now the next thing which we'll be doing is we'll be going to our style sheet but before that i'll launch the live server and let's see how it is looking right now so this is how it will it is looking right now so we'll be styling it with our style sheet and providing it a responsive functionality as well so that uh, the this menu over here turns into a hamburger menu and it displays the content of with inside the hamburger menu so let us start the margin will be zero padding would again be zero and box sizing will be border box in the body in the body you'll have a font family of sans serif background color of f4 f4 sorry f5 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 now let us see how it is looking right now so yes and now what i'll do is i'll go to nav i'll give it a background color white fff i'll be giving it a padding of 1.5 rem and zero horizontally box shadow would be 0 0 10 pixel and rgba of 0 0 0 and 0 0.1 so you can see it is looking like this so this is looking nice so let us now move to nav h2 is it h2 yes it is h2 only so in the h2 we'll be creating giving it a font size of 1.8 rem color of 333 font weight of 500 margin left of 1.5 rem so this is how it is looking right now uh, next thing which we need to do is we need to go back into our nav cell nav and here i'll put display to flex justify 
content to space between and align item to center so this is how it is looking now in our we'll be using nav list class nav list our list style will be none and display would be flex so here it here it is this is how it is looking right now now next thing is i'll go into the nav list anchor element so here text decoration would be none color would be rgb 19 comma 134 comma 20 211 padding would be 1.5 rem and 0.8 rem font size will be 1.1 rem height would be 100 percent text decoration would be uppercase let us see how it is looking see it is looking right nice right now uh, next thing which we'll be doing is we'll copy it from here and paste it over here and we'll be styling the hover state for the anchor tag so in the hover state we will have color to our gb uh, 10 81 129 and transition would be background color 0.3s and ease so this is how it is looking right now okay so i haven't provided the background color over here so let let me do that first f4 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 so this is how it is looking on hover so the next thing which we'll need to do is we need to add a checkbox for so that when we go into smaller devices like mobile devices so currently it is looking like this but if we try to re reduce the width it will not look nice so we'll be using media query and we'll be here displaying a hamburger menu so when we click the hamburger menu these these list uh, this unordered list should be displayed over here below the nav bar so let us see how how we can do that so first of all I'll come back to my VS code and go go to HTML file and within the nav bar only I'll be creating a input for checkbox I'll be giving it a name of hamburger and ID for hamburger and I'll be providing a label for hamburger and here I'll be providing the link, uh, providing the iTag for the icons which we which we are importing from Bootstrap icon. So let us go back. So here it is. So this is how it is looking. So if I click here on the icon, you can see the chair, the hamburger checkbox getting checked and unchecked. So this is done. Now let us get back into our PSS. And let us style the hamburger button. So in here, I'll be giving the label a class name of the button. Here will provide a background color of RGB 
19 color of ffs a padding of 0.8 rem and 1.5 rem border radius of 5 pixels text decoration should be none font size should be 1.1 rem margin right should be 1.5 rem cursor should be pointer position should be absolute and right should be 10 pixel so this is how it is looking it is overlapping the our our menu but this is how it is looking and when we click on this hamburger menu you can see it is getting checked and unchecked it's checkbox so first of all what i'll do is i'll keep its display to none next thing we can see here the hamburger menu has got disappeared but checkbox is still showing so what we'll do is we'll go back to hamburger and keep the display to none again so let us see yes we are back to normal now let us create a styling for button power state so let us see it is background color R rgb this one so the, let us text now so i'll just comment out display none yes so it is working fine now hamburger menu is display none and sorry the button for the hamburger menu is display none and hamburger menu itself is also display none um, next thing is we'll come to our media query here i'll provide media screen and max width first of all i'll remove i'll reduce the font size of the h2 element now the btn will be display block and the nav so if we go into our dev tool then we reduce the width to 7 below 720s so as you can see our hamburger menu is appearing so it is not functional right now so what i'll do is next thing is when we are when our screen width is less than 270 we want our nav list element to be position fixed background color we want to have is C comma C comma fifty comma eighty one or let us see how to do it right now. Okay, so this is how it is looking because the position is fixed, so it has come like this over here. So next thing is I'll provide some padding. The next thing would be to go back to padding is not required, but we have to get the width of hundred percent Z index one and from the top it should be 4.4 rem and 
let us see so here yeah, this is looking nice now what we will be doing is we will keep the left to minus 100 percent but let us first style it i'll be providing a it a height of 100 vh so as you can see it has taken the entire space over here next thing we have to do is we have to provide transition left 0.3s and ease and padding top of 2 rem this is how it is looking right now uh, we will also be providing a color of white okay that we have to provide it in the anchor tab sorry so display would be flex flex direction would be column align item would be center and font weight would be bold so this is how it is looking uh, the next thing which i have to do is have to give dot nav list a tag a font size of 2 rem and a color of white so this is how it is looking now let us give margin so now list dot li margin would be 1 rem and 0 horizontally so see this is how it is looking right now so this looks good now next thing is we have to provide this animation when we click when we check the hamburger menu it should show and when we don't uncheck it it should disappear so let us create that so for that first of all i'll uncomment this left is minus 100 so it has disappeared now what i'll do is i'll go down here and create a hamburger we'll be selecting hamburger checked so if our hamburger is checked what we want is we want the nav list to have left or zero so see you can see here it is starting to show up the animation is also looks good so if we expand it this is how it is looking on a pc device and when we go to less than 720 pixel width it will turn into a hamburger so yeah this is looking good so let's see on different devices how it is looking yes this is looking good so yeah that's it for today's video uh, if you like our content you can like share and subscribe and recommend our content to other people as well so yeah thank you as you fade away